Hey guys, today we are going to be painting a night storm. So we have got, just in case we need it, on bleach titanium, light violet, violet, Ivory black, titanium right, pathello green, and metallic right to back up my white in case I run out. So I've got a few colors here just in case it's needed. So Let's get started. Now, before I had wanted to use my sponge and I wasn't sure if I had it thoroughly rinsed out, but because we are going to be painting a very dark sky, this will end up working perfect. So, let's take our violet And we're going to use just a hint of black. Just a hint. Remember, I had said that um, the darker colors are more dominant. So if you're going to be changing the shades, use very little of the dark dominant colors, like the ivory black. Too much of the black in the violet will make it more black than what you want it. So let's go on ahead and get our mixing spatula. Let's blend this in. Okay, so we have got the color that we want, which is a very, very, very deep violet, almost black. Let's go on ahead and coat our entire canvas. Now if I got this shaded right, it should work out perfectly. I'm going to move this just a little. That way I've got elbow room. Okay. As you can see, there is purple in there. But at the same time, it is very, very deep. Like a midnight black almost and it's the shade we want okay now we're going to take this lovely brush that I love using so much and we are going to use a darkened light violet. Now here, you can tell it's kind of dry, but here it's still moist. So I'm going to go on ahead and proceed. So we're going to take our lighter violet mixture and we more or less want to saturate the brush more or less. I mean we don't want it extra extra thick but we want it thick enough like this so that we can get a broad spectrum here. So we're going to start by um, up here around the top and we're going to like we're going to pull it down like and then we're going to spread it out so 
Um, so that's kind of put up here. We're going ahead and pull this down. But we want it. We want this to be really concentrated right here, and then we will spread it out. So now let's just kind of, we'll kind of circle it like. As you can see, like we have got the, um, where that was still wet. Let's go on ahead and get some more of this. Because we want this to actually be brighter. And we'll go on ahead and spread it out. Sometimes what I see in my mind's eye does not come out what I'm seeing. And then I find that I can do even more. And it, a lot of times it'll come out even prettier than what I pictured it. But then other times, not so much. Other times I'm actually disappointed because what I pictured is nothing like how it comes out. It's a hit and miss thing. So we're going to let this dry a little because it has really gotten thick in this area. And then uh, shortly we are going to take like um, probably the light violet and add like um, Oh, my baby brought her mouse in. Bless her heart. She loves playing. She's outside waiting for me. <laughs> anyway, um, so the light violet. I'm going to turn around and add a little bit of the titanium white to lighten it up. And once again, I'm going to apply it into the center. And I'm going to spread that a little. About like that. We'll start with it about like that and we will work our way with it. I am merely guessing on how to do this. I'm guessing. I don't quite know how to approach it. So I'm just guessing with it. Bear with me, guys. If this is not what we want, then, you know, at least I tried. You never know what you're capable of painting unless you give it a shot. You never know. It's hard on this area right here sometimes having to work up 
in the air like that. Okay, so I'm going to rinse out my brush. Okay, now we're going to go on ahead and we're going to take the simplicity of black and this is what we're going to do now. This is where the fun really begins. This is where you can really be uh, creative. So let's go on ahead and get ourselves a pile of black here. Okay, we got ourselves a good glob right there on the tip. And we can start anywhere. Like, so let's go on in and start here. Remember, I told you this was a good splattering brush? Well, there you have it. This is why this is such a great brush. This is what it really works good as. I'm going to go on ahead and pull this out here so I can get down to the bottom. Okay, so like we want to start another bush here, so we just can go on ahead, pull that in, and get that going here. We're going to use this one right here, which is just like the bigger one. Let's go on ahead and get our um, bleached titanium. And we don't need very much. Not very much at all. And we're just going to kind of get it here on the tip. We're not going to heavily, we're not going to heavily dip it. And we're going to do the same thing that we've done with the, so we're going to go up here and we're just going to start bringing it down through, like so. Okay, now, let's go on ahead, we're going to use a detail brush. We'll go on ahead and um, we'll use this one first. We'll use this detail brush first. Let's go on ahead and get us a nice pile of metallic white. a decent amount here. So, about like that. And we'll 
all start up here and we are going to find our center and we are going to pull it down like so We want it to stay pretty thick until we get down toward the bottom and then it can start thinning out like so. Okay, now we are going to take an even smaller detail brush. So we'll use this little one right here, get some more white, find a place that you want. It can be anywhere, it can be absolutely anywhere that you want it to. on ahead and let it just lick the sky. Lightning in itself is gorgeous if it can be caught. If a person can catch the lightning in its beauty. They are so magnificent. I love looking at lightning and I love thunder. We'll go on ahead and pull this down a little further. And a person doesn't have to do lightning perfect. Because lightning, it just, it opens up the sky. It does. Let's go on ahead and thicken it up here. We'll just thicken it a little here. I'm going to take the phthalo green. smaller stiff bristle and we don't need it to be thick and we're going to go around the edge of our tree here because the lightning lit it up so you can barely make out the color of the tree. So you just kind of go through on the side 
that's closest to the lot then. Tap that out. And don't overpower it though, because you don't want that. You don't need that. You don't want it to be overpowering here. So you just spread it through. Spread it through. Okay, here we go. Now, we're going to add in the detail of the storm clouds. So, the same mixture that you originally had used, the first mix that's got the deep, deep violet, the dark violet, we're going to use that again. smaller stiff brush. This is what we're going to do. You take this blend, the dark blend, and you are going to put it where you want your storm clouds to be bellowing. So this is where I mean about corrections. There's too much lightning bolt on my lightning. I'm not happy about it. So I am going to have some rolling clouds come in. So watch it. So I'm going to keep on bringing mine down here because I am not very satisfied with how many lightning bolts is on this lightning bolt. So that's where the correction is. But you see that? It's also lit up. The cloud is also lit up. So you can see the detail of the storm. You can see it. And like, how many times have you seen lightning reaching into a cloud? Right? And we want some storm cloud over here. So let's go on ahead and we will throw this in here too. I mean, we have got storm in the air, folks. Very ugly, wearing its nasty head storm. It is going to be a downpour. It's going to be a downpour. First we're going to more or less blend it down into the tree line here. Now, that lighter violet that we set up, that lighter color, we're going to do this. Go on ahead and put it on the tip, but not overpowering. About like that. We're going to go on ahead and brighten up the edges of the storm cloud where the lightning is brightening it up. And 
you can see that these are very angry clouds. They are going to let loose any time. lighten this up because it just is too dark so we're going to brighten up the trees so let's use our yellow green and we'll go on ahead and lump this through like this just given the effect of it being a tree and all. Like that. Now there's already some sap green on there that I had added. So. The picture is just, it, it's way too dark, y'all. Um, you know, I want to present quality videos for everybody, and that includes making sure that all can see what I paint. It can't be an over darkened, an over darkened um, painting. It's important for people to see what it is. Well, I got a little overzealous here, and I'm sorry. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to kind of just spread it here. So there you have it, y'all. Um, storm in the horizon. Uh, night storm in the horizon. That's what we can name it. And until the next painting session, bye.